Hi guys, we're off to Mercia this afternoon. So we're off shopping to Mercia. Looks like they're drying the rice and it looks like one of the chickens is enjoying a little bit of rice. Right, you'll see. <clears throat> there's not many chickens around. That's because there's bird flu. So it looks like we've got bird flu. As you know, there's still there's a few chickens around but not many. A lot of the young chickens and the older ones have died with the bird flu. So that's it. You know, someone came to the house yesterday. Do we want to buy cooked chicken? I said, no. Said there's bird flu around. So a lot of the chickens you'll have seen, that's what's happened. They've died off with bird flu. So I'm not eating any chicken around these parts for a while. So it's a real pity. You know, it's a pity because I like to see the chickens and that's it. Look, they've disappeared. There's no chickens running around. There's a chicken there. She's laid down actually and she's eating so she's up and down. So looks like a lot of the chickens are going to disappear now and already have disappeared guys. That's it. You know, bird flows it hit this region. So we're in Concilian and we've got bird flu. Yes, put it there. We are in Mercia this afternoon, guys. Absolutely spectacular. We've actually been for a little dog food. Looks like they're drying some rice there, and it looks like they're selling one of the pigs. Oh, that pig, they're going to have to manangle that pig, guys, and he's going to have to get manangled, actually. So they're going to have to pick him up, or lead him somewhere into that tricycle. How nice is that? Pork for dinner! Can we get this big porker? Eh? Well that's it look, see what happens. I think they're getting ready to tie him up. And like I said, they'll manangle that pig from the piggery onto that tricycle and he'll be slaughtered and that's where your pork comes from. So a nice little bit of pork. Now then let's have a look, he's quite a big pig. So it probably take a lot, it takes some managing I think. Look at size on him, he's quite a big pig. So, like I said, right, I'm not stood on even ground. So they'll have to probably pick him up and try and get him in the tricycle. Which will be actually hard work. Come on, sometime today. Ah, they've got him in, look. Just pull his lead eye straight in. No messing. Yeah, he's straight in there, look. So that's saved them guys a lot of hard work. Because them pigs don't always go straight in. Yeah. See, they'll force him in and tie him up. And he's off for slaughter. Pork for dinner! So that's your pork. Not very good actually guys. He knows, I think that pig knows what's going to happen to him. Uh, well, what can I say? We've just fed the dogs. Well, the puppies, you can see now they're growing up. Well, they're getting quite big. Oh my word. 
Ah, I see you look. He's taking quite a bit of managing that pig. He knows. He knows he's going to slaughter. And that's it. So he knows he's off to slaughter. Look at size on him. He's a big pig. Oh, hey, look. So that's why there's four guys there. One, one's all in the front of the tricycle, and then the other three look. Oh, he's not going. He's not going. We have to fight. So they'll tie him up, guys. Once they sort him out, they will actually tie him up. I mean, I have seen some really, really cruel people, you know. I'm not going to say what I've seen them doing with pigs before, you know. Some of the things they do with them pigs, it's disgusting, really. So that's it. You know, he's going to market. Well, he's going to slaughterhouse and then he'll get chopped up. Simple as that, really, guys. Take care, God bless. We are actually just back from Mercy. Mercy. Uh, don't forget, please help. Please help support my channel. Please subscribe. Please share the videos. Thumbs up. Take care. God bless. Right, we're going for a ride on the bike. So, we're off on the bike now, guys. Don't know where we're going, but we'll try and make you a video. Hey, guys. Cobra chickens. I think they're two cobra chickens. Leave them alone. <laughs> What's a, what about this for a table, then? Absolutely lovely. I think it's... I think that's mahogany, but I'm not sure. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's a big tree, guys. A really big tree. Right, we're in the barangay somewhere. We don't know where we are. It's a nice fence. Really nice fence. So, look, this is where we are. Congratulations. Proud of you. Absolutely excellent. So, we're at this school, look. I've actually just come through Concilian with come down a country road thought we'd make a video stopped at a nice church what well, looked quite nice but the church the the pastor came out hey you can't take a video here don't upload it to not allowed don't upload it to youtube you know wow <laughs> a bit crazy really but i'll actually will delete the video it's a church video this school is our summit zone, I don't know what that means. So that's where we are actually. We're in a barangay, I pulled the bike up there. Don't know where we are, but like I said, we're on we're on his way through Concilian and round to back College City. So we'll make some videos. But I'm sorry we cannot show you the nice church. Because actually I chatted to some girls, said it's not allowed. I saw it's okay, I'm going to you know, like he and I, I says, I'll, I'll just do it on the road, miss. And she fetched the pastor and another guy. Wow, he didn't like it. You can't make a video here. Delete the video, so I'll delete the video. Right, so we'll have a little run around, guys. See what we can see for you. So, if you're from this barangay, you go to this school. I don't know what this place is called, but we're at the other side of Concilian. So please make a comment, says dear I love, let me look, A, is it A-M, E, try and get you the name, A-M-E-E-S, absolutely lovely, right, we'll have a run round guys, see what we can see, but that's your big tree, look, so we're off, we'll have a little run around, make a video guys, like I said, I don't know the barangay, looks like there's a big lorry there, I'll take you a video of this actually because I like this fence. This one is. That'd be quite a nice fence for me. Quite, quite a nice fence. Only problem with this fence, it's a nice fence. It's too easy to climb up. But it's quite a nice fence, you know. Quite nice. It's too easy to climb over though, that's only the problem with it. Right, guys, we're off. We're going for a run around the barong, guys. Oh, there's a dog there looking the school. So I must be a caretaker in there. Hi guys, we're here at the other side of Concilian. Right, we've just coming down this road here. Don't know what the place is called. 
Looks like there's a few trees in here. Looks like a swimming pool, look. So it looks like they've opened a resort. That chain needs tightening, but it's had it anyway. So look, looks like there's a swimming pool. Looks like a new resort. That looks like the garage. So, little resort here opening up. Looks quite nice, that pool. Quite a lovely big pool. Absolutely beautiful. Here we are, guys. Back on the prison. But we're at the back on it. It's a lot, looks a lot nicer from the front. But that's your prison here in Bacolod. Now it's out of Bacolod City. Don't know exactly where we are. Then it crosses. Don't know what that place is up there, guys. But we'll go and investigate. But this is where we are, look. And that's the prison here. I can remember seeing it last time I passed and I thought that looks like a prison. And that's what it is, a prison. Wow. I wouldn't like to think I were in there. Now, whether it's still running or not, I don't know. So that's Bacolod Prison. We've got a goat here, look. Looks like she's stuck. But I'm sure she knows her way back. I'm sure she actually knows her way back, look. Don't you dare. I know what you're going to do. So that's her, look. Hello. She's only a young goat, look. I'll have a, we'll give you a stroke in a minute. Oh, see, you've no need to. She's a little goat, lovely little goat. I'm sure sooner or later she's going to be on the table. So that's her look, absolutely lovely. Looks like this guy's got a few goats. But like you said, that's a prison. Hey there! Hey, hello there! Look at him, his shiny zones! His shiny zones! So that's what he's doing, look, absolutely spectacular! So that's him, look! And the sharply clones, them guys are quite sharp! So they're quite sharp, eh? <laughs> yeah! I'm sure you. I'm sure you know that, my old friend. Looks like I've got a flat tyre. So my tyre's gone flat again. So it looks like I've got a puncture. So that's another expense I can do without. So flat tyre. This is where we are, look. We've come back to see how things are going here, look. Looks like maybe they're going to build another wall. That's the other road there, look. So we'll see what they're doing. Looks like bikes are going to struggle up here. So yeah. I mean, when that's muddy, these bikes are going to struggle. So we'll have a look what they're doing here, guys. I don't know. See, there's a flat back tyre. We're going to have to go into Mercia now. See if we can get some air put in the tyre. But these are the big rocks. These are the big rocks, guys, you know. Looks like they're going to start to build, you know, down this side. So I think they're going to build a big rock wall, big pebble wall. Let's have a look. See, that's it, look. If they don't get it sorted soon and this gets wet, it will actually, this road will actually go that way. So that's it, look. Looks like work continues here on the bridge. Looks like this guy on his motorbike there, look, he's checking the road out. Don't know which way, he's gonna, he's gonna try and get up there, I think. She should be okay in second gear, but I don't know. You know, guys, if you can't ride your bike up that road, get off your bike, push the bike with your revs on. So keep your revs on and just push the bike up the road with your revs. Put your bike in a groove. See where he's looking? Put your bike in a groove and just keep your revs on and push the bike up on the revs. 
if you cannot ride that bike up there that's best thing to do put basically get in one of those grooves and ride up here we sat on the wall and we are surveying we're surveying everything but coming down you want to be on your back brake look see that guy there he's got to get off his bike so he's going to have to push his bike see he's a little bit stuck there uh, this guy look he's coming back he's had a good look at that road looks like they're up there looking they're a little stuck and there's more bikes coming down that road ah that'll do it SM looks like we've got an SM that should do it that the uh, got wrong tyres like oh I don't know I don't know what tyres he's got looks like his SM that bike so looks second gear all the way up getting that roped that's it getting that roped no he, he, he needs to really give that bike a little bit of power and he needs to be in that road and he needs his feet down going up yeah it's not it don't look very easy because they've got wrong tyres on and a lot of them haven't got proper bike to do it so that's it guys we're here at the bridge and I've got a puncture not very good see that motocross should easy do it got good tyres on it so I should easily do it <laughs> yeah easy <laughs> motocross apa nih lo mam? right aku ngarak atau mam ya apa aku English bah Right, KMX125 It looks like a KX125 Oh, it's a bit oily Oh, it's okay Yeah It's good Correct, Bruce He's got a KMX there guys and it's unrestricted the KMX But that bike it actually flies It's a KMX 125 It's got a lot more power than my Than my bike Because it's about 24 25 Listen it Ah uh, that's unrestricted He's running too much oil though He needs He needs to drop his oil I can see it's smoking a little bit too much so if he drops his oil a little bit you know he's oiling his petrol with his auto lube or whether he's mixing it it should go a little bit better but KMX good bike Right guys, so these boys are actually struggling They're actually struggling to cross You see the rivers up as well, look So they've got road bikes, road tyres, you know Yeah, I'm trying to film here at the same time. Yeah, it's ah, gone down. Very, very slippy. Now you can see you guys, look. I can't watch that, Jovelina, and, and film at the same time. I've got a flat tyre, so I'm going to have to ride. Ah. I think there'll be some more what's going to fall down, look. See? So that's it, look guys. Wow.
Looks no. like a scooter, but the scooter's making it. <laughs> ah, he's done it, scooter. We made it. <laughs> so this, I'm going to just drop this down actually because it's a little bit, it's on high and it, well I'm saying it's a little bit hard to control but I actually have got no, it looks a lot better blown up so that's it look in fact we'll have a walk down there but let me just check my bike and my helmet Same guy, you need to be in about second gear, the uh, second, first gear, keep your bike revving all the time. Don't stop your bike, that's it. That's it, push it. See, there's no weight on back end, but that's the only other way to do it. You know, just push it up on your revs. Push it up on your revs. If it had been a little bit better rider, he'd have actually gone up there quite easily. Well, not easily, a lot better. See if he makes it. You've got to get up there now. Go on, rev it. Second gear. See, see that kid there, he's got correct gear look, he's got correct gear, he's keeping it in gear straight up. He's got technique, just keep it in gear, keep it second gear, don't stop. Go on, and see if you can put your feet down guys, <coughs> that's it, that's difference as well. If you can put your feet down onto the floor, you've cracked it. But you know, if you're not very tall, look at this guy coming down. It's coming down when somebody's going up, you know, I really should wait. Now it's your turn, wait till this guy goes down here, look. Right, we better go and blow his tyre up. But we've got one coming down. Yeah, we're going to have to put some air in the tyre. We'll see how good Rusi is. Oh, I've got muck on my bike. Oh, my word, I'll have to clean it when I get home. Go on. That's it, keep it revving. Rev that bike, that's it, keep it revving. Go on. Will he make it? No, he hasn't made it. He's run out of juice. Ah, then there's a two yellow. There's another two coming now. It's a long way to Tipperary. Oh yeah, my talents are endless. Go on. She's trying to push it up. Needs to, I know it's easy to say, but you really, it'd have been better in that rut. If you were in that rut, see the rut, he could put his feet on the floor. Now he's not got tyres and that scooter's not very powerful. So that's it guys, that's it, go on, get him to that rut. They're scared of that rut for some reason. Maybe that rut's really bad, I don't know. Right, we're off guys, take care, God bless. That's the river. I hope this video turns out okay. But like I said, that's it, look. So we're off, they've been digging the road up. They're gonna build this up with rocks to strengthen it. And this is where I am.
I'm on the bridge. I'm on the bridge wall and Jovelly and shouting. So it off, gosh, like I said. Like I said, look, it's flat as a pancake. We're going to have to ride into Mercy and get some air in tyre. Take care, God bless, guys. And everybody what's toured with the bikes here today, God bless, guys. I hope you're all fine and taking care. Now, if you get an off-road bike, you want something like this, with twice more power and knobbly tyres on it. Yeah, Jovelin's going shopping to the market. We've got the bike here, we're getting the puncture fixed. Definitely got a puncture, I've just pulled into a petrol station. Only two kilometres away. They blew the tyre up but now it's flat. So it's, it's got a puncture. Where the puncture is. Yeah, I'm going to look where the puncture is. So that's it, look. You know, we've been here quite a few times, guys. We get quite a few punctures. Jovelin says I, I ride too fast through the province. But I suppose I'll have to slow down. So that's it, look. We have a puncture. I was gonna check, gonna check it now, put some air in that. See? And check it now. I'll we'll leave that on the bike and check it. So that's it, look. That's the last one I had done. Wow, well, hold on. I'll check it now, I'll put some air in it. And then you'll just check it. What a pain in ass. As you can see, guys, I actually ain't got a registration for that bike. So, I don't know if they're going to send me a plate to register this bike. We'll soon find out. See, look. That'll come straight back down very, very quickly. I can tell you that. Stand back a bit. See a little bit round, checking it up. Checking it. Can't be valve, surely. <laughs> Don't know if it's found puncture or what. See puncture, didn't see any air leaks, but it looks like he's probably found the puncture. And he's got that ready to quarterize it. Ah, look, he's getting ready, look. I'm going to quarterize it now. Looks, looks like. Like he's got a puncture as well, or maybe a little air. Should be okay. Ah, see, look. I'm going to quarterize it. Ah, look. Actually, he's rubbing it down. No, there's a white spot there, look. We're going to quarterise it. Let's have a look. So, you know in Don Salvador, I've had it done in Andamanum, Don Salvador, and it's that patch. It's that patch what's leaking. I think I need a new inner tube and a new tyre. Got my chain and sprockets. He's working that patch off. That's what they do, look. They quarterise it with that piston. That's how they do it. Quarterise. No patch. No sticky glue. 
quarter eyes. That's it, look. So that's what the door, that's a piston. Right, you can see it. We put it onto your inner tube. And that's red hot, so it quarterizes. Look at that, that's how they do it. That's how they fix a puncture. XTZ125. So that's it, look. Let's hope it fixes the puncture. And according to Jovelin, it's my fault because I go too fast. And it's not exactly a fast bike. Honest guys, you know, that's third time that puncture's actually been fixed. First time Andy Manham put a patch on, actually it didn't take. Then Don Salvador, now we're back here. Third time and it's that same patch. So, you know, quarterizing's probably not the best way to go. New inner tube, I think. So that could be it. Look, hopefully you check puncture now. Look. So check it. I'll blow it up there and check it. Hopefully it's okay. What are you doing, guys? Putting some air in it and checking it in water. Hopefully it's actually sorted the puncture. Like he's putting that inner tube back in and he's putting that tyre on. It's hard work that. I mean Filipinos are really, you know, in legs, they're really flexible. I mean an English guy can't do that. You know, we can't do that with his legs. We can't bend like that to do to his knees. But Filipinos they can do that with the knees. But we can't do that, see? I can't do that, it'd kill my knees. I'd be at doctors in the morning. But Filipino people, they can do that. Looks like it's going on, look. Go on, baby, it's on. 